This is the biggest unboxing of wadded graded video games ever. I think. Hey guys, it's Jomo here, and I'm very excited to begin this unboxing. I've been waiting months to open this. For those who don't know, WADA recently uh, changed their uh, boxes. I waited until you know we got a discount, which there was. They had a birthday recently, and I think it was 16% off. It just seemed like the perfect time to send in a whole bunch of games. Uh, total, I sent in 50 games. Five of them, I believe, were uh, turned down because they didn't have the proper casings. In my last video, I unboxed a couple of graded games from WADA, and about 36% of the time, my estimated grade was better than I anticipated. 36% of the time, again, the grade was worse than what I anticipated, and 28% of the time, I was basically correct. So, what I'm hoping for is this time with these unboxings, uh, I have the my estimated grades here written down, and we're gonna see if I improved being able to estimate the proper grade on these games. So without further ado, let's get started on our first box. Mm -hmm. Okay, ooh, interesting. So this looks like uh, Final Fantasy 13 for the PS3, uh, a special edition version of this. It's the lightning box edition, so you only could get this game uh, in a big collector's box with a whole bunch of soundtracks with alternative cover art. I estimated a 9.8A plus and a 9.8A plus plus. Awesome. So it's even better than, than I expected. So this is pretty cool. Fantastic. Great. So uh, again, we have another Final Fantasy game, PlayStation, coming from the same set. This is uh, Final Fantasy X2. I have two copies of this game. So both uh, were 9.8 A plus or 9.8 A plus plus. And we will see 9.8 A plus plus. Awesome. So this game here is the sequel to the first Final Fantasy 13. If you haven't played this one, I'd say it's better than the first for sure. But it's been quite a long time since I have played it. But uh, another near perfect copy. And I'm wondering if I'm gonna get a 10. <laughs> this is the second copy. So we're looking at uh, potentially 9.8 A plus. And 9.8A++. Okay, wow. But yeah, sweet. You know, these were in really good shape when I bought them. I mean, I was expecting maybe a 10 even. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's perfect, basically. It's tough unbagging these and not looking because your eye will just... Oh, gosh, this one I'm very excited about. Okay. Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball for the Xbox, okay? Again! <laughs> Again, yeah. I bought this and uh, maybe you watched the other unboxing video or, or the haul video. Yeah, I got that one. But yeah, I, there's two copies of these in there. Pretty hard to find, at least uh, you know on eBay. So one I'm guessing is a 9.6A+, and another is a 9.6A. And let's see what we got here. A 9.8A+. Okay, wow, that is, uh, that's great. I am very, very, I'm a little surprised. This is, this is fantastic. I mean, what more could you want from, uh, from this? Uh, pretty cool. I I'm starting to, to understand why some people say that, uh, you know, uh, Wada might be a little easier on the grading compared to VGA, <laughs> but I mean 9.8A plus I'm not mad at it. I'm like, I'm very happy I mean, that's like almost top of the, the, the pop report self to check But this is a game that uh, you know growing up It was it was kind of crazy that a game would even have this it was pretty unusual and you know being a teenager This is like has a lot of memory and on the Xbox. It's one of those games that stands out quite a bit So having it this great fantastic very very happy to have this Alrighty, so we have the second DOA for the Xbox. Now this one has a cool Target sticker on the back. I'm guessing that this is gonna be a 9.6A. Um, and let's see. 9.4A, ooh, went down a little bit. That's unfortunate. But, you know, that's not too bad. It's a little, little off from what I thought, one grade down. Here's that cool Target sticker. I like stickers on stuff, I don't know. Maybe one day there won't be Target, you know? That's how we'll remember Target. It'll always be remembered. That's what's important, right? We got uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, awesome fighting game. I guessed 9.6 A plus plus or 9.8 A plus. Okay, and let's see what we got here. And this is day one edition, so this is like the first print. Here we go. 9.6 A plus. Oh, so it's actually not as good as I thought. Um, so this one um, is a little less. 
Not too bad at all. Very cool. Obviously, super memorable fighting game. I think it might be considered the best Dragon Ball Z fighting game to exist. I mean, for me, like, it just, it's so flashy. It's got the look that we're looking for. It looks like the anime. Uh, so much hype, Evo hype. I mean, uh, it was incredible. So to have it part of the collection, I really like fighting games. So this is something that is pretty awesome. Go. Another Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I'm guessing this to be a 9.6A+, maybe a 9.8A+, here we go. 9.8A+, awesome, okay, cool. Hmm, cool. Okay, whew, this is a big one. Super Smash Brothers Melee for the GameCube. Whoa, all right. Yeah, I paid for this one. I, I, this is one that had to I had to have. This game means so much to me. This is a Canadian print, so it's probably gonna be a little less value, but I don't really care. This is the exact same copy I got. We're from Canada, but for those who might not know. A 9.6A we're looking for. And... 9.6A plus. All right, well, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Having that A plus definitely brings this up a notch for sure. This is a not for resale copy. So I believe this one would have came in with a box set. Uh, you could take the GameCube and you would get uh, the game. So, oh man, this is beautiful. Yeah, oh, this is, this is great. I am very, very happy about this. Woo, this is, this is very cool. This, this is great. Wow. Man, I could stare at this for a while, but uh, we have to continue on with the show. So we're going to put this guy away for a little bit. Going to take a, a sip. Okay, another one where we got two copies of it. We got Blaz Blue, an awesome one here. Is it going to be perfect? 9.8 A++, or I'm guessing it's going to be 9.2 A++. So here we go. 9.6 A++. Okay. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Is this the better copy, or is this going to be... Uh, it's just it's way better than I thought it was going to be graded as. So I don't know. All right, we have the second Blast Blue here. We're gonna find out if that one was the better one or the worse one. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be a 9.2A plus because I'm guessing that one was the better one. And 9.6A plus? Uh, a little surprising. They thought that both of these were just as good. It, that just seems weird to me. One of these came from a, a collector's edition box and they're the exact same game. One of them is clearly better. I mean, it's not bad, you know. Uh, maybe they lost my copy and then they just given me one of equal value to the other. I don't know. Or they evened them out from the both. They, they didn't average. I don't know. Kind of weird. All right. We got Soul Calibur for the Dreamcast Japanese. Yeah, 9.8 A+. All right, here we go. 9.6 A+. Oh, that's too bad. They're pretty hard on this one, I guess. See, the new case just really does this service. It's nice and tight. No wasted space, really. It just looks, looks very nice, very presentable. But a 9.6A+, a little bit of a disappointment, but not a big deal. Okay. All right, next one here. We got Tiger Woods 99 for the PlayStation. So there's a couple different copies of this game. I'm hoping this is the first print with the uh, South Park uh, episode in the disc. If you put it on a PC, there's a little story to it. A plus, or B plus, I'm thinking. 8.0 B plus, let's see. Oh, 7.5 B plus, even worse. Yeah, it's got cracks, which is not cool. Let's take a look here. Oh, it is. Oh, it's South Park episode removed. Oh, so this isn't the one that I thought it was. It wasn't too bad. The price was was pretty as cheap as you can get, but uh, you know, it's not bad. I mean, 7.5 is, is pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, okay, what is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got three houses, Fire Emblem for the Switch. Love this game. I put over 300, 600 hours in this game, but it's, just, it's awesome. I haven't played in like Fire Emblem. What are you doing? I think I guessed a 9.8 A plus on this one. So, oh good, 9.8 A plus, awesome, great, great, great. This is what I was hoping for. You know, the Switch game, so it's pretty easy to get a, a high grade like this. Like, 
But uh, yeah, this is what I was thinking anyway. Just a little bit of uh, seal damage. But yeah, this is great. I wish it was just a little thinner. It's kind of thick. Like, I don't know. It's, it just seems like more room than, than necessary for the uh, for the Switch games. But they really nailed it on the, uh, the the jewel case. You know, those other two games I just showed. So a little, a little thicker than needed, but uh, pretty cool. We have our first CD, music CD, soundtracked, uh, graded. So Water recently allowed you to uh, that they had their service uh, grading for music CDs. This is a UK version of uh, Smash Brothers Live. They didn't get like a jewel case version, I think, in North America of this. The only way I believe you could get this is through a magazine, Nintendo Power magazine, and it comes sort of like in a in a uh, kind of paper uh, case. I think a 9.2 A plus or 9.2 A. Here we go. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I guess I haven't improved much with my, my grading assessments. Man, I put this as a 9.2 A plus or a 9.2 A and I get a 9.8 A plus? Well... Okay, well, that, that's great. I mean, like, it presents beautifully. We got that awesome artwork in the back. I mean, like, and it's Melee, man. Like, if you haven't listened to the soundtrack, go on YouTube, listen to this. This is a great piece of, of music. Oh, man. 9.8A+. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'll have to think about this later. <laughs> okay. All right. And we got another one. You know, you're noticing a theme here. I got a lot of doubles, you know. So, all right, same thing. Uh, I'm thinking 9.2A. Uh... <laughs> what the heck? This is just weird. I don't even know. It's like, hey, you thought that your, your games were like below par? Well, actually, they're near perfect. <laughs> okay. I'm not mad at it. Like, it's just more like, I don't even know what to think, but wow, like, two near perfect ones? Like, holy crap. I am stunned. Oh no, who is that? They're coming for my graded games, no! <laughs> All right, we got another CD here, and I have two copies of this one as well that got graded, so this is Majora's Mask soundtrack. I don't know what year, but this is from Club Nintendo, so you really had to have Club Nintendo points to get this. Uh, but with these, 9.6A or 9.4A? So, here we go. 9.0A+. Crack in the case top, really? There is a crack somewhere on the top of the case. Hmm. Okay, yeah, there's a crack. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, again, we got a, another Zelda, or thinking 9.4 or 9.4. Six was A? Yeah. So here we go. We'll see what this one is. Here we go. <laughs> okay, 9.8 A plus. Cool. Alright, great. Dang, that's uh that was that's good. Man, I, I don't know. Uh, it's it's either really better than I think or much worse than I think, you know, so yeah, oh man, I don't think I've gotten better at this. <laughs> okay. Alright. Got Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one for the Wii. 9.4A. Thought this wasn't that great of a copy in terms of grade, so here we go. 9.6A plus. Okay, much better than I thought in both the grade and seal. I'm not mad at it, uh, but again, I'm surprised. I, I don't know. Never played the game myself. Always wanted to, but you know, I just don't think I'm going to get into it. There's just so many other games to play, but uh, really cool to have the first one. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Okay, so this is Call of Duty for the PC. Um, I think it was 9.8A+, I'm guessing, for the game itself. I guess a slipcover of 6. I can see it right here, it's 8.0, but the box and the game, we're looking for 9.8A+. 9.0A+, oh gosh! Ooh, there's a crack in the case in the front, really? Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so we got Halo 2 Special Edition. I have no idea what this is going to be. Uh, hopefully above a 9.0. Okay, interesting. So they gave it a seal. How can you give it a seal if it doesn't have a seal? So I'm a little uh, confused how they have a, a, a 
a seal grating when there isn't actually a seal on the game other than these little stickers and there's a slip cover. I'm happy. Uh, it doesn't look that great though because there's like sort of waviness on the actual S Xbox slip cover. So I really think this is an error because it doesn't actually have its seal. It should have no seal, even though it has stickers. Because that's what it does with other games where, you know, they have a sticker on the side for an Xbox game. And if the seal's removed, they usually say no seal. But this one has a seal with A+. So I don't know. Something looks a little funky here. We got no more games in this box. We gotta move on to the next box. Do you guys think, yeah, maybe we should stop here. I don't know if you guys wanna watch anymore, do you? You know, you don't wanna know what else? I think there's like a grail in one of these next ones, but I'm not so sure, you know? So if you like the video and you wanna see more and possibly an Xbox grail, you know, maybe you like this video and uh, maybe we'll, we'll make another one. Bye. <laughs>